Thanks, because as long as God knows what you're doing, He knows what's in our hearts. We can't control what people do. When we witness to somebody, we can't always expect them to, to they're going to change their lives right then and there. It's that we can't do that. If we could, we'd, we'd save everybody. I'm sure we would. But we know that God's in control of all things. We can't do things on our own. We got to always look above to Jesus. Hallelujah. We can't do things on our own. We can't walk alone. We can't get up alone. We can't breathe alone. Some people try to, and I've tried before, and I've did nothing to fall flat on my face. I looked into the drugs and, the, and all the other answers. The alcohol it got me nowhere. Hallelujah. I wasn't here this morning. I know everybody can come up here at the cardboard testimony. I would love to be been here. God called me somewhere else. But this is my cardboard testimony. And each and every one of us has got a gift. And that's where it starts with love. Without the love we wouldn't have this cardboard testimony. Can you read that? No, I'll read it says, my heart was broken with suicide depression each and every day that I had. I wanted to kill myself. I didn't want to live any longer. And that's old Satan. That's how he works. I was looking for answers in the drugs and the alcohol and whatever else I could find in some false, just uh, temporary fixes. Temporary fixes. You want a permanent fix, get a bottle of Jesus. <laughs> drugs and alcohol, my cup was empty. With the lust of the world... And lost almost everything, even my home. I didn't lose my life, and I didn't lose my precious baby eyes. <laughs> That's my dog, if you like. <laughs> God made me whole. I, I finally surrendered. God knew, always knows what's going on. His love. Sometimes love hurts. My mother taught me that. Love hurts sometimes. It does. But because of love, God knows what's going on. You know what? He took everything that I had to get me to a point where I had to call out His name. And there was times that I should have called out His name way before I did. And it stubborn me. I just ignored it. But His gift of love kept on me. Could have gave up on me. But He didn't. Filled me with peace. Isn't that great? No matter what we go through. That gift of peace. Love and joy. My treasures are laid up in heaven now. I don't, these materialistic things are nice to have down here, but my main treasures are in heaven. Amen. And I've got a new home. And that was a gift from God and some special people that worked very hard. Thank you. <coughs> but each and every day, we've got to look for that gift that God wants to do. We can't sit down and wait on that gift to come to us. We've got to look for it. Hater's not going to work unless you plug it in. We're not going to, if we don't plug in and tune in with Jesus each and every day. I don't mean just halfway do it. You can already go halfway. You've got to really do it. That's right. If you've got a love for Jesus, you're going to want to do it. Amen. You ain't going to have to do it. I don't come up here and preach because I feel like I have to. I don't sing a song because I feel like I have to. I don't tell you I love you because I feel like I have to to make it to heaven. I don't do it because I feel like that there's going to be a gift given to me. God's going to reward me some way big, shape, or form. I do it because I want to. Because God gives me that zeal, that desire. Even though I'm not perfect, I have the desire to serve Jesus each and every day. He gives us a gift that we cannot pay Him back for. But what we can do is help each and every individual out here in this world. There's people out here dying and going to hell. And we're responsible to talk to these people. We can't talk to everybody. We all have a gift. And some people may have a gift in Antarctica. Some people may have a gift to go preach in, in other countries. But people, God's people are God's people no matter where they're at and wherever God puts you. Be blessed that He's using you. And you let God use you. Use your gifts that God gives you. The first gift that He gives you is love. Because of love, we're here. Love is the beginning of everything and will be the end. Don't wait till it's too late. I'm telling you. If you're, not, if you're here, come get a song, please. If you're here and you're looking for your gift... Come to the altar. Start there. Or start in your seat. Just, you don't have to come to the altar, but that's a great place to come. Making a public announcement. You know, you don't have to stand up here and say, oh, I'm looking for this, looking for that. But that's showing that you're not ashamed of your God. If when you come down here to the altar, just give the gift of God to somebody else. That's the main thing. I don't know what you're calling, whether it's to sing, to preach, to talk to somebody. Gloria, she sends cards out. She sent me cards out for years, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. That's a gift God gave her. You know, if it wasn't for people, 
my band, I guess maybe one of us wouldn't be saved because of her sharing that love that she does. And it touches her when we get there. She puts her heart into that. When we speak, when we sing, when Ashley sings, or whoever sings, or whoever preaches, their heart's in it. You can tell. You feel that love of God. I'm telling you, if you're lost, come down here and get saved before it's too late. And if you want to start getting closer to God, meet Him down here. He's waiting on you. Start using your gifts for the Lord because He wants us. We're a tool for Him. He can do it without us, but He needs us. You know, Satan's trying to devour a lot of people, mix up people's minds, with drugs, and alcohol. And I've been there. I've been on both sides of the fence. I'm glad I'm on this side. So you all stand and sing a song. Thank you.